Medie no eye me ni urade benante Medie ya mbota iti trupa ane se Ibe hunu mkwaji ya kwa ene ya ni urade etu mi anante yi Mbota ibi ya unso ne se Inipa ene ni urade yesu kristo nante ye Kwa ene me utu mi faso nante Bia mfo mso onso no mwye wa kwa ene mwa Yebe tu mye shiye bibi efrimo Ya ma papa ben so no mwye ya She urade eni unya Si wano na jika mega Jika mega Obema, Obema, Yesi u, Yesu basi sa, Yesu basi sa, Obema, Obema, Yesi u, Ama waku ma, Ama waku, Ama Yesu tu, Zawu se na dum nasia. Jesus, Chairperson and uh, district minister Owaha 
and a session. And I'm winning for the opportunity to come and serve. Mazamon Kokoya, I could that when I'm a voter presidential chairperson, a miato district minister session. Call me a cata, be me covered glory. Be unti kokoika buda mi ami agugu. Recovered glory. Unti kokoika buda mi ami agugu. Recovered glory. Mi bubu ho mi ami unti kokoika. What does it mean to recover? Nuka o nuka agome nyabe. Hallelujah. No be o bubu ho ere agome de. To recover means you are returning to a normal state of health. Mind or strength. You are returning to a normal state of health. Mind, mind or strength. So to recover means that you used to be up there but for whatever reason you have been brought down low but God is taking you back to that normal position. That place when you get to that you enjoy a normal state of health so when you recover it is not going to be a one-sided recovery it is going to be a total recovery you recover in every aspect of your life you recover mentally you recover materially you recover with your health may somebody receive divine recovery in the name of Jesus Christ if you came to church shout oh God I recover. If you are here, shout, Oh God. I recover everything in the name of Jesus. Oh, see, oh God. I recover my health. I recover my mind. I recover my strength in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. Again, to recover means the action or process of regaining possession or control of something that has been stolen. It is a process and it is an action it is a process and it is an action so you cannot just sit down and put your hands like this and expect to recover when something is an action it means you must get involved it means you must do something to ensure that you have recovered I am speaking into your life in the name of Jesus Christ from this week every action you have made may it lead you to recovery every action you have initiated may it lead you to recovery shout oh God I recover in the name of Jesus. 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 So when you recover, you regain every lost potential and every lost possession. In the name of Jesus. Shout, Oh God. Oh God. Tonight. Tonight. I regain. I regain. And I take control. And I take control. Of every lost potential. Of every lost potential. And every stolen goods. Every stolen goods. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. By the reason of the anointing. By the reason of the anointing. I enter. I take over. Into the warehouse of into the, the enemy. Into the warehouse of the enemy. And I take possession. And I take possession. Of everything. Of everything. That has been stolen. That have been stolen. You say I possess. I possess my marriage. My marriage. I possess. I possess my finances. My finances. I possess. I possess my marriage. My marriage. I possess. I possess my finances. My finances. I possess. I possess my glory. My glory. In 
Amen. So we are saying that to recover is an action. Or a process that you initiate so that you can regain. Now that word regain means that formally you are in a good position. But something happened and you have lost that position. To regain means you go back there and you take over that which belongs to you. So when we say recover glory, it means that you have followed the actions you have followed the processes and because of that now the glory has been recovered I am praying for you and with you that by the close of this program all the actions and the processes processes that you have followed may it lead you to a recovered glory in the name of Jesus Amen. 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 Put your hands together for the Lord. Afa. Afa. Mami, we in the home by children and say, but God is in control. Amen. Yes, Papa. Uh, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, after you have recovered, men can decide to close every door. They can decide to block your path. But be assured that because you are the son of God and you have Jesus in your life, Jesus says, I am the door. So when men block the door, because of Jesus Christ, the door will be open for you. Jesus, I speak into your life. Jesus, may you receive divine breakthrough. I receive it. May you receive divine breakthrough. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every yesterday, every yesterday, every yesterday, every it's an indication that God has revealed his glory in your life. It's an indication that you are a career of divine glory. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Amen.
If I be a prophet of God, Amen. in the next 24 yes, hours, Lord. may you receive divine surprise. Receive it. May you receive divine surprise. May you receive divine surprise. May Casa Afa, Tiamo Casa Afa, 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 Praise the Lord. So we are talking yeah. about recovered glory. When we talk about glory, what does it mean? What does it mean? The first impression that I gave you is from the Presby hymn. It means a fade ye yebu. Fifia obu nao. Wa nanka bu suye shia. E wa ikana fwa matozo wa. Yam fre ubi no. O ma yo anawa. E ni onyamba o soa. E nyo unti kwa kwe ava. A fade ye fre o. Fifia wa yo. Se ni onyamba no. Unti kwa kwe ma. Ani ye sre ra de se. E ya bia me mi le cho ma uko. Amen. O ma ne mra o so. Amen. O ma ne mra o fi. Amen. O ma ne mra o jubu. Amen. No ma ensi u ye. E wa yesu kristo. Amen. E wa yesu kristo. Amen. Our yes to Christ. Our yes to Christ. Now, in the biblical account, the Biblia, Biblia ma. In the biblical account, the Biblia ma. The glory of God was symbolic. In the life of the people of God. Whatever God wants to use to reveal his glory was up to him and he decides at what time that he will reveal his glory. Now the Hebrew word for glory is kavod. And kavod means that which carries weight. Kavod means that which carries weight. So when we talk about the glory of God, it means that when the glory comes over your life, you become a heavyweight champion. You become a kingdom gladiator. You are 
are moved from ordinary to extraordinary. May somebody receive that way. May somebody receive that glory. In the name of Jesus. Was it tonight? Because of the glory. I am a heavyweight career. I am a heavyweight career. In the name of Jesus. Who follow on my boxing? No, my boxing. I'm a yoka than a qua. You are different title. If you are a dofer, Vovo Volosi, you are bantam wit. Obey, then you are bantam wit. You are super bantam wit. At the Hanya super, you can get up, but you are light wit. At the Hanya light wit, I am up, but two two. Any or heavyweight. Any heavyweight. papa. Heavyweight in the Udumwa. Heavyweight and a dof my papa. Let us a word do pa. If you have a dose, you are mamma. A horn and young Kalane call. Mamma, you have you way enough mouth. And your mom, Musia Namori. Menya mayoka la so so like a wadula. A omua omutumi bodom pim. Mayoka talk bana. When the glory of God reveals upon your life, you are moved from a child yes. Yes. to become an adult. Yes. You are now a heavyweight career. A heavyweight career. So, and because of the glory of God. Because of the glory of God. May you receive that anointing receive in, the in the name of Jesus. When you become a career of God, a glory of God, you become a heavyweight. You become a heavyweight. A heavyweight. May you receive that grace. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 One of the ways that God revealed his glory was through the Ark of the Covenant. So any time that a Pamadaka appears, they know for sure that the glory of God has appeared. And because of that, a Pamadaka you must be consecrated. You must be set apart. You must have the permission to get closer. Why? Because it carried the glory of God, which was heavy weight. On one occasion, according to 2 Samuel chapter 6, the Bible says, David decided that I needed the ark of God. And I have to move the ark of God from one position to another. So he organized his people and he decided to move the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant was in the house of a man called Abinadab. We have already established that the Ark was not kept in ordinary people's place. So there, there is every indication that Abinadab was a priest who was set apart to keep the Ark of the Covenant. He had two sons. One of them is called Ahayo and the other is called let me check his name. Uza. So these are the two men who also followed their father 
to keep the Ark of the Covenant. Now, I've taken the trouble to, to, to explain to you why these names are very important in this story. If you say a pamanda cano, a si abina da bufi, na sa ne ma uzani ahio e bufi wa. I am so common for them. They can easily go there. They can easily see it. Sometimes they may be tempted to even touch it. On one day, when David decided to move the ark, the Bible says that Ahio was in front of the ark. And Uzzah, the Bible did not show his position. We are only told that Ahio was in front of the ark. And the ark was carried on a new cart. So whilst the cart was moving the ark, it got to a point that the cart that was driving the ark stumbled along the way. So Uzzah decided that once the ark of God had stumbled and wanted to fall down, he will make sure that he makes it upright. He will not allow the glory of God to just fall down. So he wanted to help God. But God doesn't need your help. When God decides to bless you, he will bless you without your help. Oh, Jesus. Hey, so don't hey. try to help God. Yes, Lord. Allow God to be God. Yes, mm. Lord. Don't try to put God in a matchbox. Mm. Let God be God. Let God be God. When He wants to bless you, mm. He will not come to your family hey. and hey. consult them mm. to ask whether you are qualified for the blessing. Mm. No. When God decides to bless you, he will just bless you. Now, the name Uza means strength. So, Uza thought that he could use his own strength to help God. But you see, God is all powerful. He is all sufficient. He has all the strength. He has all the power. All the power. He has all the might. All the might. The other day, Bible says, Abraham called for by some of the Jesus Christ. I will turn him. Now Petro Chin Crante. Now Ocha will be a son. I read Jesus Christ to catch the Petro say. Fan Crante and the Shabbat be a son. So me here call for the Kwamani. I can call for legions of angels and they will come and fight for me. I don't need your strength. I can be God by myself. Yes, Lord. Who's that thought that he can help God? Who's that thought that he can help God? There are so many of us. We are not experiencing the glory of God. Why? Because we want to use our strength. Why? Because we want to influence the process. Allow God to be God. And allow God to work his way. Hey. When Uzzah touched the ark of the covenant, the Bible said God struck him dead. Mm. And he died instantly. He died instantly. What does it tell us? It's an indication that when you are a career of God, anybody who touches you, God will strike that person. Medie no eye me ni urade benante medie ya mutai titrupa ne se ebe hunu nkwaje akwan ni ni urade etumi ananti mutai bi onso ne se enipa ani urade yesu christo nante e kwan ben otumi fa so nante bi enfo mso onso no moye wo kwan mu a ye betumi asua bibi afri mu ya mapapa ben so no moye ya share urade edu